Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Uh, today we are going to see about the uh, model predictive speed control of uh, PMSM. So here you can see that this is a simulating model of uh, speed control of PMSM by means of a PA controller. So here we need to measure the speed of the PMSM and then it will be compared with the reference speed. So this is the actual speed and this is reference speed. And then it will be processed via PA controller. So this will be generated the IQ reference. And then here we need to make ID in the I0 reference equal to 0. Okay, and then this is nothing but a rotor angle. And then based upon this IQ, ID, and the I0 reference, so we need to convert uh, like DQ0 to ABC. So here we have to convert that uh, DQ0 to ABC form. And then here we will get uh, I reference in the form of ABC. And then here we need to measure that IABC current of the PMSM is going to be a process via this uh, comparator and then it will be generate the control signal for that uh, PMSM. Okay, so it's like a PDL inverter. Okay, so and then here that uh, you can see that uh, that torque load torque, right? So initially that low, low torque will be 3 and finally it will be 1 after 0 0.04 0 seconds and then you can measure the voltage here across that uh, PMSM and then here you can measure the, the current of the PMSM and then so here you can measure the speed of the PMSM and here you can measure the torque of the PMSM okay electromagnetic torque okay so here you can measure this these parameters okay now I am going to simulate this model And then you can check the, the torque and speed of the PMS. So here you will see that so this is a torque of the PMSM. Okay. And then this is a stator current of the PMSM. And then this is voltage across that PMSM of the two phases. So here you can see that this is the result of speed so because here we are doing only speed control okay uh, so it will be start from 0 and then reaches around uh, 0 point uh, that mean around 0 0.0, 0 yeah 5.5 .5 into 10 power minus 3 seconds okay and also we have some oscillation around that uh, during this year we are having overshoot undershoot right by means of this PA controller. So now instead of here PA controller, right? So here we are going to use a model predictive controller. So now to create model predictive controller, so we need to get the uh, that will transfer function model for the system. So that transfer function model of the system can be uh, generated based upon the uh, uh, that mean here you can see that one option is there in the MATLAB, right? You go to apps and then here you will see that right system identification toolbox right by using system identification toolbox so you can generate the transfer function of the that particular model so here, here already create a transfer function so this is a transfer function of that model and also uh, we tested that uh, MPPC also so here you can see that so, so we create the transfer function and then we uh, design that uh, MPC so here already we designed that MPC so that MPC detail is available here right so this MPC file right model predictive control file going to be used to for control that the uh, PMSM speed right so here you can see that so here we are using model predictive control so model predictive control is see three inputs so one is actual speed rough <coughs> one speed and then so this is nothing but a disturbance input so here we are not considering any disturbance in the model predictive controller so it received these three inputs and then it would be generated the iq reference okay so again this is going to be converted to dbc and then based upon this reference current we have to control this inverter in order to control the speed of the pms okay so it may need so we need to uh, generate the transfer function so because uh, the for designing the 
model predictive control so mpc that means transfer function is the most important thing so we need to create the transfer function for the for that particular system okay the system and then we can apply the entire transfer function concept by using this uh, uh, mbc block okay so and also we can refer our video right already we did several video about model predictive controller how to use that model predictive controller based upon then how to train that design that mbc based upon transfer function model okay you can check that uh, video in my youtube channel so now i'm going to simulate this <coughs> this model with the model predictive controller and then I am going to compare the result of uh, uh, speed of the PA, PAD controller and the model predictive controller. So this is a result of model predictive controller. So this is a result of PA controller. So here I am going to click print figure and also here I am going to click uh, print figure and then here I am going to change the color. So this is for uh, MPC control right so I am going to make red color and then I am going to copy this response and then I am going to paste the response here okay so now we can see that uh, model predictive controller right so model predictive controller will be uh, have the quick response right and also it reach there is no overshoot in the system and also maintain at uh, around uh, 700 uh, rpm right so when comparing to pa controller the response of model predictive controller is very quick and uh, it does not have any overshoot right overshoot so this is the advantages of this model predictive controller in the, the speed control of uh, pms so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye